Hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft tutorial and today I will show you how to make banners with commands. And have you ever thought, well, why do you need to do that? Well, that's why we have looms. But unfortunately in looms, you can only have six patterns. You can only craft six patterns in one banner. But if you do it with commands, you can have 16 patterns. For instance, the ominous banner could be crafted at a stage, but then Mojang added this black border around it because this banner doesn't have six patterns on it. It has seven, which unfortunately means you can't craft it unless you use commands. So today I'll show you how to do exactly that. Wait, what happened to my tree? Oh dear, it's gone. Why, oh why do I have to keep dealing with this? Anybody up for bacon? Oh, I forgot they transformed into bacons. And before we start the video, I'd like to pitifully ask for likes and subscribes to show support for the channel. Anyway, let's begin. I'm really having fun with the zoom thing. So first things first, give yourself a command block, place it down, obviously a button, uh, no, my place button on said command block, and now we can actually start. But because I've really gotten a habit of just creating all the commands in a text editor, I'm just going to do that instead, so we'll minimize, 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 uh, minimize Minecraft, right click, new text document, call this epic banner dot json for json and I'm using sublime as my text editor so then we can actually start uh, beginning, beginning to start we can, moving on, uh, so we can do give at p minecraft white underscore banner, I mean that's simple enough but what we can do is add in curly brackets, press enter twice or just once in here, then you can do block entity tag colon more curly brackets and then patterns colon square brackets enter and now we can create a list of all the patterns and weird thing majiggies we want to do. So we put in curly brackets for our first pattern. So the first value you put in here is color. And instead of saying something like white or lime or red, essentially we have to put in numbers from 0 to 15. I'll leave all the colors in the description so you don't have to memorize it. So I want this pattern to be red, so I'll just put in the number 14. Then we can put in a comma, pattern, colon, and then quotes. And instead of putting all the pattern codes in the description, I'm just going to give you a link to a website which will show you all of them. But I want the pattern of the creeper on it, so I'm just going to do CRE for creeper. And essentially copying and pasting this command into Minecraft will give you a banner with a creeper face on it. And it's red because I specified the number 14. And really, this is the entire command already. We can just add in a comma, add more curly brackets, color, 11, pattern, BS. And as I said before, Crafting banners can only have up to 6 patterns, but with commands you can have up to 16 patterns. So really I could just be lazy and just copy and paste this. So it's just the same pattern over and over again. But if I add in one more set, and since the limit is 16, if I try to go to number 17, so if I put in MC it should be a circle in the middle that's green. If it doesn't show up, then we've reached our limit. Yeah, it hasn't happened. But if you see within Minecraft, if you give yourself the banner, you'll see a list of all the different colors and patterns used. But the ominous banner doesn't actually have that. So after block entity tag, which starts with this curly bracket, and it will end over here, we put in a comma to add in another tag for the banner, hide flags. So here it can start from 1, then 2, and 4, 8, 16, th 32, and 64. Now each one of those numbers actually have their own meaning to them, but 32 just hides basically all of these tags. I'll leave another link in the description to explain what these do. So if I copy everything, paste it in here. Now our banner is still the same, but has hidden flags. But it does say it has two tags. And that's the end of the video. I'm not exactly an artist, but at least now you can have 16 patterns instead of six. So I hope you enjoyed and learned something new. All the reference links are in the description and a few of the commands. And if you have any further questions about commands, you can join my Discord server. There's plenty of people to help you, including me. Anyways, Goodbye.